So a sharp needle hurts less. And uh, I was about halfway, and so as soon as I get close to halfway, I put a brand new needle on it. It's just more comfortable for the patient. It's also easier for you. Now, we're gonna do a vermilion border. So it's M like Mary, one, two, three. You're gonna follow, you're gonna follow. Hers is, you know, a little difficult. But you see that M, I put a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna go down. Just laying a little line. One, two, three. Good. So look at that vermilion border versus that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, you wanna look in the mirror? Sure. It's mm -hmm. so right there in your lap. Oh, wow. Isn't that Beautiful. pretty? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's well, great with lipstick on. <laughs> right, but why? Why? Wow, because the job. brain, oh, thanks, Mom. So listen, the, <laughs> listen. That <laughs> Listen, the, the brain likes contrast. The, right. the brain, like, that's why women look better with makeup. Mm -hmm. Why do women look better with makeup? Because to 8 billion people, oh, there's definition, there's mm -hmm. contrast, there's pop. The eyes pop, the cheeks pop, the lips pop with makeup. So you got to understand the paradigms. These doctors, mm -hmm. when they teach, they don't understand these principles. And these, if you don't understand the underlying principles, the teaching is not going to be as strong. Yeah, you're always thinking about how the brain interprets beauty. Right. And so based on that, you're executing. Mm. Good. So let's keep going. I'm going to do the same thing. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, mm. beautiful. It just looks fantastic. I love it. It's because your brain likes to see that pop, likes to see that contrast, likes to see that definition. Just like a guy with a big round beer belly or a guy with six-pack abs. Mm -hmm. The guy with the six-pack abs... Four billion women who go, oh my gosh, look at that, look at that guy. Because their brain goes, wow, look at that contrast, look at that mm. symmetry. So that's what we're doing, mm. okay? Thank you. It's amazing. It's science. Yeah, I love it. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Half inch, just half inch sections. That's it. Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and hold your. You have gauze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and hold that. Pressure after you inject. Pressure. Ice before. Pressure after. This is one of my other tricks. It's not the needle that the manufacturer gives you in the package. It's a thirty gauge needle, which I have, and I'm not going to give you because I'm not going to sit there and worry about who's got 30 gauge needles. If you can score some 30 gauge needles, it's fine. If you can't, it's okay. Use the needle that they give you in the package. But having a 30 gauge needle when doing Juvederm or other fillers is also a big advantage, especially for lips. You don't really need that for cheeks, you know, or other sculpting and molding, but it causes less pain and less trauma so less bleeding and less swelling when you're using a 30 gauge needle instead of the 27 gauge that they give you in the package so let's finish this up looks beautiful mm -hmm. yeah so that looks good the lips are bigger but not too big they're more defined because of the vermilion border okay good it's just starting to swell right now so open one, two, three. We'll work on this section one more time. Good. And then we'll work on this section here. I'm not going to touch this because this is already big. This is already, look at the vertical height here. I'm matching the vertical height and the anterior posterior projection for the rest of the lip. I want everything to match this section. This is the biggest section. So I want everything else to um, match that uh, part of the lip. You take the largest part of the lip and you match everything else to that. That's gonna make the lips look bigger, 
but it's going to make them look symmetrical too. You want the lips to be bigger and more symmetrical. So we added volume here, but we didn't add volume here. So we're gonna do that next. One, two, three, half an inch away in the middle. One, two, three. Very small amounts, very small amounts. It doesn't take a lot. The pain is on a scale of one to 10 what? Mm, your technique is amazing. Really, it's not bad at all. Thank you. you know, obviously. Open. It's not my technique. It's just the small needle and the ice. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Go ahead and uh, let me get you some fresh gauze. A lot of pressure for two, three minutes. Okay, so that's it. So that's a tutorial on lips. Draw a line in the middle. Each section is going to be the same in the vertical height, as much as you can in the length, and as much as you can in the anterior, posterior projection, roundness, voluptuousness, whatever term you want to use. Basically, it's just common sense. You want your face and your body to be symmetrical. If I was like this during the whole time, it'd be weird. That's why I'm like this, because God made me symmetrical for the most part. The face forms a little differently because of mesoderm, endoderm, and ectoderm. There's some small changes in the face. That's why most people are asymmetric from one side to the other. First create symmetry, then create contrast or pop. Thank you. I'm Dr. Kojin.